All right, so here's some practice problems and how to get started. So on that worksheet that's posted on your canvas, this is number 25, just so you'll be able to go back and look at that if you want to. It's y equals 1 half secant x. Sorry. So here is your strategy for doing this problem. The first thing you want to do is you want to graph y equals cosine x, right, because that's the parent function. And then you want to graph y equals 1 half cosine x. This 1 half, is it going to cause a vertical stretch or compression or a horizontal stretch or compression? Vertical. When it's out front, it's going to be vertical. Is this going to make a stretch or a compression? It's going to make a compression. So you're basically going to take your function and squash it down. Well, if the if this number out here in front is less than 1, it's going to compress, no matter which function you're on. So once you know, once you graph your cosine, then you come in here and you graph your one half secant x, right? Because your cosine it builds your frame for secant x. Once you've got the cosine, then you can just go in and make the u shapes. Does that make sense? And this this guy is going to have a vertical compression. All right, just kind of set that one to the side for a minute, maybe on the back of your paper or another sheet. Another one from that worksheet we're going to look at is number 31. It says y equals 3 cosecant of x over 2. All right, so the first thing that I recommend is rewriting this equation without the fraction. Dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by a half, right? So now these two equations are saying the exact same thing. But now I can see that my letter B is a half and my letter A is 3. So we're going to have a vertical stretch from the number 3, but we're also going to change our period. Right? So this is going to cause a horizontal stretch. So again, I want to start with looking at y equals sine of 1 half x. And you want to start by thinking what's your period going to be? Because that way you can mark off your x axis. And then from there you can do 3 sine of 1 half x. You'll be changing your max and min, your amplitude. And then you can graph 1 equals 3 cosecant 1 half x. Because once you know where your sine is, then you can draw your little U shapes for your cosecant. Is it clear to everybody why we learned cosine and sine first? Yes. So by now you should be getting really good at drawing cosine and sine. So when you, the quicker and easier you can draw those two, then you'll be able to do the others. All right? 